Hello, what is up guys? It's me Fancy Fink and hari ni aku nak react dekat video Genshin Impact drama. Tak silap aku lah, video ni pasal ramai player tak puas hati tentang Lantern Ride punya rewards tu. I know memang aku sedikit terlambat untuk buat reaction video ni but that's alright. Sebab video ni memang menarik perhatian aku lah and that's why macam aku plan untuk buat content sekali and korang pun bolehlah tengok bersama. So maybe kalau ada korang yang tak tahu pasal drama ni semua, ha, korang dapat tahulah juga. So inilah videonya and korang nampak tu Genshin lost 1 million followers. Tapi tak silap aku yang diorang hilang followers ni dekat Chinese punya account lah Bukannya English ataupun Global punya account Now jom kita Genshin lihat video ini Betul Saya Wednesday ada buat watch party But it's not just any other patch. It's a special patch, Lantern especially right. for the Chinese yeah. player base. Total. Version 4.4 will host the Lantern Rite Festival in Liyue once again. And since it is celebrated on the Chinese New Year, and Mihoyo is a China-based company, mm -hmm. this patch naturally becomes very special. Yeah. You can tell this just by watching the live stream. Lantern Rite featured patches always get a special treatment, as they are hosted <laughs> by the game developers. Special so treatment, okay lah. This? While this Boleh patch kata begitu juga lah. Another patch for us. Chinese players expect more from it. And when I say this, I'm talking about the reward. <laughs> I'm not saying that global players don't love Lantern Right, but we just love the rewards to be honest. I'm sure you all know what happened during the first anniversary of Genshin Impact on September 20th, 2021. Semua orang tahu This pasal tu. This is known as Doomsday for Genshin developers, yeah. as well as some other games and apps such as Google Classroom. If you don't know, I will give you a quick recap. Tapi kalau new player maybe tak tahu lah pasal ni. Anniversary. Free rewards, what else? So a rumor started building that everyone will get a free 5 star character on the end. That's why lah itu silapnya. Itu silapnya pada setiap orang yang main Genshin Impact ni. Dia orang percaya sangat dengan rumors. I mean me Hoya sendiri pun tak ada officially bagi tahu reward siapa yang kita dapat. Lepas tu lepas dia orang dah officially announce reward yang kita akan dapat, tak apa hati pula sebab tak sama macam apa yang rumors kata. Like Bro, itu pada aku salah diri sendiri sebenarnya. Like, kenapa nak percaya rumors? Lepas tu, benda-benda yang rumors yang katakan tu tak terjadi, diri sendiri yang sakit, tak puas hati, apa benda semua. Like, okay, tak faham aku. And when Mihoyo announced the actual yeah, reward, look at this. guess what happened? The whole community went Man, mad, mad, like crazy mad. Review From bomb. From Genshin to non-gacha games, the community did not even spare apps like Google Classroom, let alone games. Anyway, moving on to our current topic. It seems that Chinese players are not happy with the Lantern Right rewards this year. So what did they do? They started unfollowing Genshin Impact on Douyin. Douyin. For those who don't know, yeah, Douyin Chinese is known as TikTok in China. Oh. And it's not just Douyin. They okay. are doing this on other social medias too, like Weibo and Bilibili. Yep. Genshin Japan, has lost China more only. than 1 million followers on TikTok in China, which is a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. From over 10 million to 8.6 million followers. From 10 million? Wow! Last night it was 9.3 million, and right now it has come to 8.6 million followers within 24 hours. Damn, son. We all know that Chinese players get Hampir special 2 million treatment from Mihoyo, and it's fine because a large amount of their revenue comes from Chinese player yeah. base. Yeah. For example, they get special web event for every character's birthday, oh, the serious? KFC glider from the combo meal, yep. and not to mention the PS5 4-star skin selector bundle. But this time it Ada seems PS5 quite bundle opposite, the Chinese impact? players are accusing okay. Mihoyo for neglecting the Chinese player base and favoring global market. They are saying that they're not satisfied with the New Year rewards and that they are less compared sebab, to the global rewards. <laughs> they are yeah, also mad about the skin selector sama being so, yeah. paid. So they have started review bombing again on App Store. In fact, as of now, hmm. the number of one-star reviews have surpassed five-star reviews on Billy Billy. And Mihoyo or Hoyoverse in response has apologized to the players, saying they will improve the feedback system and communication. I mean, kalau kita bagi feedback pun, orang buat dang, orang tak rewards. layan. But I don't know whether it will be enough to satisfy the players or not. So Mihoyo might do something special for them again. Like give a few extra free wishes by mail or some sort of a special event. Tunglah. But don't get your hopes up because we're not getting yes. anything. Yes, just into just take your ten Chinese from player, Mario, lah, right? And three fates from in-game mail and be happy with it. Betul tu. Aku setuju apa yang dia kata. Lagi satu, that's why macam ramai jugalah yang compare Genshin Impact dengan Hong Kai Star Rail. Aku ada buat video pasal ni bercerita lah sikit-sikit pasal drama Genshin Impact dengan Star Rail ni hari tu. And yeah, aku pun setuju macam dekat Star Rail. 
dia punya rewards ataupun dia punya sistem lebih kurang gitu memang a lot better lah kalau nak comparekan dengan Genshin tapi ramai juga lah yang kata macam maybe sebenarnya kita ni as a player starring dengan Genshin Impact ni orang macam nak test contohnya macam okay kalau kita bagi rewards yang nice dekat Staril apa reaction player dekat Genshin pula kalau macam kita tak bagi rewards apa yang macam diorang harapkan tu reaction player macam mana pula so senang cerita macam apa diorang nak eksperimen something like that but to be honest kadang-kadang rasa macam boring jugalah asyik layan Genshin punya drama ni sebab apa sebab drama dia benda yang sama je player tak puas hati sebab rewards itu saja. that's why macam aku cakap jugalah kalau rasa tak puas hati dengan game ni tak payah main senang tak payah nak kecoh-kecoh nak buat drama apa semua if kalau korang boleh terima dengan rewards apa yang diorang bagi dekat kita ni ha teruskan main Simple as that my man And yeah there you go Itulah dia drama yang berlaku And maybe kalau korang tak tahu lagi Ha sekarang dah tahulah And apa yang aku nak cakap dekat korang Ialah just enjoy je Main apa-apa game yang korang tengah main sekarang ni Kalau rasa tak enjoy Tak payah main Settle So yeah that's it Itu je lah yang aku nak tunjuk korang Untuk video hari ni Harap korang semua enjoy And kalau korang enjoy Jangan lupa untuk like And subscribe sekali Until then Kita akan jumpa lagi lah Next time Bye bye